Tonight's accident report is brought to you by Stovall & Associates. Don't expect insurance companies to have your best interest in mind. Stovall & Associates cares. Let us help you if you have been involved in an accident. Prompt Valley Fire and Rescue, Nye County Sheriff's Deputies, Nevada Highway Patrol, and California Highway Patrol all responded to a single vehicle accident near Amargosa yesterday. We're going to speak to Fire Chief Scott Lewis. Long night and uh, actually a long duration incident was originally reported as a vehicle fire on Highway 160 between Pahrump and Highway 95. Ended up being a motor vehicle accident that with the vehicle bursting into flames on Bell Vista um, just between Pahrump and the Amargosa line. And it, it came in a series of pieces of information from the people that were on scene and involved two dispatching agencies, that being Beatty and Pahrump. And I think overall they did a great job piecemealing everything together to give us a more accurate picture of where, what kind of incident this was and where it was actually located. We did have to make a couple U-turns, mm -hmm. uh, like I had mentioned earlier. We were going to dispatch for a vehicle fire. While we were en route to that on Highway 160, it was then reported probably it would be a car accident because the car was resting on its roof and was involved in fire. Unknown status of the occupants at that point. Mm -hmm. As we were uh, approaching the cattle guard on the very north end of Pahrump, mm -hmm. we were then informed that the accident may have been on Bell Vista between, again, Pahrump and the Amargosa line or state line. We redirected, responded to that. I arrived on location. I found the vehicle on fire off to the shoulder of the road. Status of the occupant was immediately unknown. Talked to some of the people that were standing there. He indicated that he had self-extricated and started walking towards Amargosa, was then picked up private vehicle and transported rapidly to Perum, in the direction of Perum. I radioed that information to our engine company who was coming into the scene for suppression. They, in fact, found the vehicle with the, um, the injured party, and then they started rendering care there. Um, the injuries sustained were sufficient that it warranted flight. Uh, Mercy Air was brought to the scene. The LZ was managed by Engine 2. I remained on location of the vehicle fire until Amargosa arrived, and then we transferred command to them since it was in their jurisdiction. The patient was alert enough to start walking, but sustained a lot of injury. Yeah, it was reported on the scene that the uh, when the person was leaving the scene, the bystanders were able to smell uh, the indications of, of burned, that he was uh, sustained burns in the incident. And uh, we, in fact, found that through yeah. our assessment, so which warranted definitely to get him to a trauma center and get that person to the appropriate level of care. Approximately, they said 30% of his body was burned. That's what was reported to us, 30 plus percent, but again, I didn't uh, have the chance to really go through that. But um, certainly, all the circumstances between the mechanism of the rollover, mm -hmm. the resulting fire, all those things warranted him to get to a trauma center. And only one occupant in this vehicle? Yes, the sheriff's office indicated they're doing their investigation, but the occupant indicated he was the sole person in the vehicle. Once again, that man was airlifted via Mercy Air to UMC Trauma Center in Las Vegas. This is Deanna O'Donnell for News 46.